The timing is critical here. As the opponent steps forward with his left, he immediately starts to step with his right. The sensei catches the advancing foot from behind, sweeping it upwards, pulling down with the elbow, lifting up with the other hand. Keeps pulling down with one hand and turning with the other and throws the opponent. When you make the opponent step forward with his right, you will automatically step forward with the left and that's when you catch it. Right, left. Right, left. And then you use your hands. Boom. So now in slow motion. Opponent steps right and as he starts to step left, Sensei starts to sweep his foot and look at that strong hand action. Jerks down with one hand and up with the other in a circular action. And now at full speed. As the opponent comes forward with his right foot, he's just going to sweep it. Pushes the opponent back, makes his left foot come forward, and automatically the opponent's right foot will start to move forward. Then he sweeps it from behind with the sole of his foot. Nidan Diashi Harai, the double foot sweep. This shows the foot action of a double foot sweep. One, two. Now showing the form and timing. Sweep the first one, the opponent lifts it up and then get the back leg. Now in slow motion. The opponent steps forward with his right. Sensei sweeps it, the opponent lifts his leg up. Quickly the Sensei sweeps the back leg using strong hand action for the throw. And now we'll see it at full speed. Tsubame Gaishi, the swallow counter. First the sensei demonstrates the foot action. As the opponent goes to sweep your foot, you pull yours out of the way and sweep his back foot. 
now in slow motion. Sensei steps forward, the opponent goes to sweep his foot, he bends his foot back, pulls with his hands, immediately sweeps the back leg using the hands so he can throw. Keeps a hand action as he sweeps the leg out. Now here it is at full speed. Steps sideways, you follow him and sweep his retreating foot. He steps to his left, his left foot as his right foot comes in. You sweep his right foot, lift him up with your hands and then turn your hands like a wheel while you continue to sweep. Now we'll do Uchikomi, stepping in and out, and the sweep. The critical part here is the timing. Just as the opponent's right leg moves, you sweep it. And then the hand action is important. You lift up and turn them like a wheel. The opponent steps, lift up, turn. That helps his right foot go into the left. And you sweep it. There. There's a little freeze frame so you can see what's happening. This is just a little Uchikomi. Step, sweep. Step, sweep. Step and sweep, lifting up hard. Let's watch that hand action again. Lift up and turning like a wheel. Pulls the opponent's elbow in the same direction as his right foot. Now the way he actually does this is to walk around with the opponent. And as the opponent takes a step with his left, his right will follow, and that's when he sweeps. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. That's the way it would go. Left, right, left, no, not yet. Left, right. Stepping around. Left, right, left, right, left, there. The opponent walks around. He'll step with one leg and then bring the other leg towards the leg that just stepped. It's one, two. And meantime, you will sweep, lift him up, and sweep the foot like that. The opponent steps back with the left, with his right. Back with his left, and as his right comes in, teacher lifts him up and sweeps his foot. Then turns with his hands. Demonstrating. Now, the person has to move. If not, it won't work. There. Watch the feet. There. Beautiful. Now he steps around, good timing. You make the opponent step around, steps with his left, and as his right moves, you sweep with your left. Use your hands, turning him like a wheel. Round, sweep. This is stepping sideways. Well, that didn't work too good. There we go. Attacker turns under to avoid the opponent, holding the lapel for control, reaches and gets a cross grip, pulls the opponent around in a strong circle, then jerks him down. Just then the opponent reaches over for a high cross grip, starts to execute a throw, and gets his rear leg swept out from under him. Here's the attacker turning under, holding the lapel strong for control. Keeps pulling, steps up, gets a cross grip rises and starts to pull the opponent around in a circle. As he pulls him, the opponent is defensive. He jerks the opponent down hard. Then the opponent tries to attack, reaching over with a high cross grip. And as they come around in a circle, the opponent attempts a throw with his leg. And as his leg comes up, 
the attacker sweeps the back leg out, using his hands to drive him into the mat. Players are fighting for grips. Attacker gets a pocket grip. The opponent reaches over the top, gets a high grip behind the collar, sets himself for a throw, takes a little step, starts to step forward, gets that leg swept out, and is driven into the mat. And the players are fighting for grips. Our attacker reaches over, gets one grip, then gets a pocket grip on the right side. The opponent pulls his hand free, reaches over the top, getting a high grip. Sets himself up for a throw, takes one little step, starts to move the other leg for a throw, gets the leg swept out from underneath him as the attacker pulls down with his hands, sweeps, and follows him into the mat. fighting for grips. Now our attacker reaches over the top, gets the outside of the opponent's elbow. As the opponent steps, she'll pull down with the elbow and sweep her foot. And they are fighting for grips. She reaches around, grabs the outside of the opponent's elbow. As the opponent takes a step, she follows with a step of her own, pulls down on the elbow, lifts up with the other arm, sweeps the foot out, and then drives her into the mat with a strong hand action. Oh. Here the players are fighting for grips. The opponent gets a cross grip. As they take a step, the attacker pulls down on the elbow, picks up the foot like a sticky foot, and drives him down with his hands. Here they are fighting for grips. The opponent reaches over, gets a cross grip, keeping his right side exposed. As he takes a step, the attacker pulls down on the elbow, lifts up with the other arm, and on that second step, catches his foot in a sticky foot action. Sweeps up, getting the leg high, pulling with the hands, keeping contact with the foot until the fall. Then drives him down with his hands. Attacker attempts Sori Tsurikomi Goshi. It's blocked by the opponent. The players square off. They pull against each other. The attacker resists, then starts to step back. Is chased by the opponent who attempts a foot sweep. And the attacker counters against the back leg and drives him into the mat. Here the attacker tries a Sori Tsurikomi Goshi and is successfully blocked by the opponent. The players square off. The opponent pulls back against the attacker who resists. Then as the attacker starts to step back, the opponent chases in after him, attempting to sweep. Attacker pulls his foot out of the way and attacks the back leg with Tsubami Gaishi, the swallow counter, pulling with both arms, lifting, and driving him into the mat with a good follow-through. This is like Ochigari, except you hook from the inside. Step in one, two, and then three. Catch inside the foot. Pull it out. Your hands, you split them. This time you press against his right shoulder. Keep looking down. One, two, three. Throwing with a normal grip. 
step back, make the opponent step forward with his right foot, then hook the foot and throw. Here it is in slow motion. Sensei steps back. Step in, pull with your left foot, your toes are driving you forward, pull his elbow into your chest, drive your own chest into his shoulder, bring your leg through for sweeping, while you sweep, pull in on the elbow and push against his neck with your right hand. This is Uchikomi, in and out. It's important to pull on your standing foot. Now for the throw. The sensei steps in with his left foot, pulls the opponent's elbow in tight, presses against his neck to drive his weight backwards against his right leg. Then he comes through with his own right leg still pulling on the elbow and driving against the neck. Hooks behind the leg, again pulling on the elbow, driving against the neck, and then sweeps backwards, throwing the opponent. Throw your opponent backwards. Step in. Break his balance by pulling his elbow into your stomach, your shoulder into his. You press against his neck and your leg reaps from behind. Step in deep with your left and sweep with your right. In, pull in, break the balance and sweep. Tori is moving the uke around, brings him around to his right and sweeps a supporting leg. He controls the opponent's left elbow by reaching high and squeezing in on the elbow. Now he's going to bring him around to his right. As he swings him up on the right, he presses down on the elbow over the top, comes through with his leg and sweeps. Moves his opponent around, catches the opponent on the back leg when he steps away. Again, he Going to control the elbow from the top, crimping it in tight. Circular action with his right hand and catches the back leg. Kudo times his Oso Tagari when his opponent steps forward with his right foot. There's Kobayashi stepping forward. He comes in to meet him, catches him, clean throw. Now in slow motion. As Kobayashi steps forward, he steps forward to greet him, hooks the leg, drives hard with his right arm against Kobayashi's neck. Nice high throw. This one's going to be like an Osoto Toshi. Doesn't work about the timing. Just pulls it on the elbow tight, pushes against the neck, and goes for it. There he goes, right in, hooks hard, power throw.
is good not only in judo but excellent in self-defense they're in a right natural posture left hand holds a sleeve the right hand he's demonstrating how not to do it there in other words you have to really break the opponent backwards there steps in deep his chest against the opponent's chest pulls the elbow in and the other hand pushes against the neck and then he reaps behind the leg now slow motion steps in pulls in on the elbow see his left foot is forward left hand pulls in on the elbow comes up now he's gonna sweep with his leg his head is down his right hand pushes against the neck Now one more time in step sweep Osoto Otoshi large outer drop it's like Osoto Gari except because of the distance and the uh, resistance of the opponent you can't reap so you crimp the arms put pressure on the leg and slide behind the opponent's knee get your leg up high and push down and slide down into the ground you drive against his shoulder and pull back with your leg and now we'll see it again at full speed steps in drives slides back now the student's going to do it hooks hops drives here he is just driving without the hopping there just a little bit bang now the teacher shows how to practice the form are fighting for grips with their hands interlocked. The attacker pulls her arm away, gets a high grip. The opponent grabs her by the elbow, snaps her arm away. The attacker comes in with a cross grip. They both do Osoto. Attacker sweeps the back leg, flattening her opponent. Here they are fighting for grips with their hands interlocked. The attacker's trying to free herself, pulls her hand away, gets a high grip. The opponent grabs her by the elbow snaps her arm away real sharply the attacker immediately comes across with a cross grip they both start to execute Osoto the attacker has the advantage sweeping the back leg driving forward with her right shoulder and twisting slightly attacker controls the opponent's right sleeve the opponent is being defensive keeps his left hand back leaving his whole right side open the attacker comes through catches by the neck hooks the leg pulls the elbow in and drives him into the mat the attacker is controlling the right sleeve the opponent is being defensive keeps his left arm back exposing his whole right side the attacker takes a quick step back shoots his leg through while pulling the elbow into his stomach pressing against the neck throws by shoving downward like an osoto otoshi keeping the elbow tight into his stomach pressing against the neck and sweeping for the throw Players fight for grips. The opponent has a cross grip, goes to a sleeve grip. Attacker breaks loose, reaches high, catches behind the collar, pulls down. The opponent opens his arm. There's a hole to the right. Attacker shoots through the hole, hooks the leg, and corkscrews into a throw. There they are fighting for grips. The opponent going from a cross grip to a sleeve grip. The attacker snaps his hand away, reaches high, catches high on the collar, pulls down hard. The opponent breaks his hand free, leaving his right side exposed. As the attacker starts to shoot through for an Osoto, the opponent bends down, tries to catch the attacker's leg. It's too late. Attacker shoots through, hooks, corkscrews for a throw.
players are fighting for grips, the opponent gets a cross grip, then they both get a high grip simultaneously, attacker brings his head underneath, snags the opponent's shoulder, hooks his leg, drives forward, finishing with a corkscrewing action. Here they are fighting for grips, the opponent cross grips, they both simultaneously get a high grip, attacker brings his head through, snagging the opponent's shoulder, also catching the other arm against his body. Comes through with his leg, pressing with his shoulder, hooks the leg, keeps hanging onto that shoulder, drives forward, puts his head down, kicks up sharply, finishing with a corkscrewing action. Look at that twist. tries for a left side throw, misses, reaches for a high grip, the attacker takes advantage of the high grip, turns into the high arm, snags her arm, reaches around her neck, hooks her leg, throws with a strong corkscrew action. Here's the opponent trying to throw, misses, reaches high, now the attacker turns into that high arm, snagging it with her arm by the elbow, hooks over the neck, hooks the leg, drives forward with the driving leg, hops, drives, and corkscrews the thrower into the mat. Players are fighting for grips. Attacker gets the lower sleeve, steps across, drives the opponent's arm up, across his body, hooks his leg, drives down, turns his back into him to flatten his back against the mat. There they are fighting for grips. The attacker gets the lower sleeve, pulls down, and shoves it up across the opponent's body, hooks his leg, keeps driving, driving, pushing across the body. As the opponent goes over, he turns his back into him sharply to flatten him into the mat. There it is. The opponent has a high grip. First pulls back, then attacks with Koichigari. He misses, steps back, the attacker follows him with an osoto pulling hard on the arm, turning into the neck, driving his foot down into an osoto otoshi. There's a high grip, making him quite vulnerable. Pull steps back, attempts a koichigari, misses, steps back, attacker follows the backward movement, pulling in hard on the sleeve bringing its chest into the opponent, hooks the leg, twists his wrist into his head, drives down with his foot into an Osoto Otoshi action, and keeps following straight down into the mat. tries a kouchi, misses, pulls on the gi, drops in low for a katagaruma, the attacker steps back, grabs the top of the collar, swings it over the side, hooks his leg, drops down on a knee and throws sideways. And they're moving around, there's that kouchi gari, the opponent pulls on the jacket, drops in for katagaruma, Attacker steps back, grabs the top of the collar as the opponent stands up, swings his hand over the side, pulls in on the sleeve, hooks the leg, keeps driving him sideways, drops down on his knee, and continues to throw sideways.
Opponent pulls down on the attacker's arm, bends forward, leaving her left side vulnerable. Attacker pulls her around, further weakening the arm, sees the hole, drives through it, pulls on the arm, her shoulder into it, and corkscrews into a throw. The opponent pulls on the sleeve, bends down as if she's going to try a scooping action. Attacker takes advantage of that arm, pulls her around, further weakening it, pulls on the sleeve, drives her shoulder into the arm, brings her leg through the hole, hooks the leg, and starts to throw by swinging up, twisting, driving her head down, keeps twisting and throws in a corkscrewing action. Opponent attempts a Soto Makikomi, reaches over the arm, hooks the leg, it's blocked. Attacker pulls her in tight, twists, rotates, sweeps up, and smashes her into the mat. Opponent's moving for a favorable position for a Soto Makikomi, reaches over the top, hooks her leg, does not get Kazushi, continues to twist, it's blocked by the attacker, who then pulls in tight on the jacket, keeps pulling in tight. Twists her body, throws by driving against the shoulder, sweeping up with the leg, driving her head down, and smashing her into the mat. <laughs> the opponent reaches over the attacker's arm, turns into the arm, attempts an osoto. Attacker pulls him in at the shoulder tight, lifts up with his hips, taking him off the ground, kicks his leg through, falls and twists to smash him into the mat. The opponent is reaching over the top of the arm, blocks the attacker's hips, turns into the arm, hooks the leg. The attacker pulls in tight at the shoulder, killing the action, and throws his hips forward, lifting the opponent off the ground then throws by kicking his leg through as he drops, twisting, twisting, and as he falls, he arches his body, continues the twisting and driving action. steps forward, he hooks the back of his heel and throws him. Pulls him forward as the opponent steps forward with his right, uses his left to hook the back of the heel and sweeps it out. He's going to catch the opponent's leg as he steps backwards to Duco Soto. Let's watch this again. Pushes back, opponent comes forward, now his opponent is going to step back with his right leg instead of forward. And he's going to step in deep, hook the leg, and kind of throw him sideways like an Okuriashi. Fast off the grip action, the attacker comes in, grabs the back under the arm, hooks the legs, and smashes him into the mat. If they come in, we get a fast off the grip action. Attacker grabs the back under the armpit, twists for Kazushi, hooks the leg, pushes off with his back leg. In one continuous action, keeps driving the opponent right into the mat. Attacker leads the opponent forward, 
reaches over, gets the other sleeve, spreads the arms, gets his head under the armpit, stands up, holds the opponent tight against his neck, hooks his leg, and as he throws, he uses a strong hand action to smash him to the mat. The attacker is stepping back, leading the opponent, spreads his arms, gets his head under the armpit, pulls the arm tight across his head, starts to arch, stretches up, using his hips for power, lifts him off the ground, keeps pulling tight. He takes his leg, hooks it behind the opponent, starts a twisting action, and as the opponent starts to fall, he recovers with his foot and uses a strong hand action to smash the opponent. Attacker hits with the Nuchi Mata, the opponent blocks it, steps around the edge of the mat, the attacker hooks his supporting leg, pulls in on the elbow, pushes with his hands to smash him to the mat. Here's the Uchi Mata, the opponent blocks it, tries to avoid, steps around the edge of the mat to keep from going out, the attacker hooks his leg, Drives against the shoulder, pulls the elbow in, keeps driving against the shoulder, pulling in the elbow, hooking, kicks off with his back leg. As the opponent starts to fall, he uses his other leg to push with, still using his hands and smashing him into the mat. Opponent is reaching high, bending over, the attacker grabs his lower sleeve, quickly steps in, lifts the arm, hooks the leg, twists and smashes him to the mat. The opponent is reaching high, bending over, rather defensively, the attacker grabs his sleeve, pushes it down, now quickly he'll step in deep, lift the arm, driving it up, real hard, twists, Hooks the leg, keeps driving the arm, keeps twisting, pulling the elbow in, driving with the right hand, and smashes him into the mat. The opponent reaches over the top, goes in for an Ochigari. Hooks, the attacker grabs him around the waist, pulls him tight to kill the action, grabs one leg, starts to lift it up, hooks the back leg, pulling on the one leg, pulling on the back, drives him into the mat. Opponent reaches over the top, hooks the leg for Zouchi. The attacker reaches around the back, pulls in real tight, killing the action. The opponent pulls on the belt, keeps hopping, still trying to do his Zouchi. The attacker reaches around, grabs a leg, still pulling in on the back to kill the action, picks the leg up, hooks the back leg, still pulling in on the leg, hooking, drives, pulls down on the back, continues that action, keeps pulling in on the back, holding the leg, and then buries him right into the mat. <laughs> Attacker blocks the opponent's arm, reaches around the back, steps backwards, then pulls down hard. Immediately, he jumps in for reaching Kosoto Gari. He's countered with an Ouchi, and he counters the Ouchi by kicking his leg through and dropping back. Here he is blocking the arm, reaching around the back, pulls the opponent towards him. Keeps stepping back, pushes down real hard, then quickly makes a switch into a Kosoto. He'll turn, lift the arm, hook the leg, 
starts to drive, the opponent starts countering with an Ochi, almost gets him. Then the attacker counters by kicking his leg through and with a strong hand action, twists, kicks through, drops down for an Ipon. Both players are in a deep defensive mode. They both have high collar grips. As the opponent stands up, he pulls down and then goes in for an Ochigari. Misses, tries for a Kosoto, gets his leg caught, the back leg is hooked, and he's thrown for an Ochigari. They're both in a defensive mode. The opponent is pulling down real hard. They both have high collar grips. As they stand up, the opponent pulls in, steps back, goes in for Ochigari. He's pushed away by the attacker to block the throw. Immediately goes for a Kosoto. He's pushed away again as a block. Then the attacker drops down, catching the leg, pushing at the collar. Ochi's the back leg, hooks, drives, and keeps pushing forward, driving him right into the mat for an Ipon. Ankle throw. Step around, catch the ankle, and throw with your hands. This is in slow motion. Steps around with his right foot, turning the toe inward. Then his left foot catches the opponent's ankle. You notice how his right foot is turned inward. Pulls in on the elbow. Then using his hands in a wheel action, throws. This is just an Uchikomi drill, stepping in and out. Here we go. Sensei steps in deep, catches the ankle. Steps in, ankle, throws. Here it is again. Steps in, ankle, throws. Now let's see it in slow motion. His right foot steps in, turning inward. So he can pivot 180 degrees. Pulls in on the elbow, lifts up with the other hands like he's turning a wheel. Presses up against the ankle. As the opponent's balance goes forward, he pulls down real hard on the elbow and sweeps up against the ankle and throws him. Here the sensei demonstrates timing and form. Steps around, lifts up, catches the ankle. Steps around, lifts up, catches the ankle, and throws. Now in slow motion. Gets the opponent moving around. He steps around. Now his left foot is pointed inward, so he can pivot on the toe 180 degrees. Lifts up, catches the lower leg, and his hands pull up and move in a circular action as he throws. And now at full speed. The hands are very important here. So these clips demonstrate the lifting up and the pulling with the other hand. You turn your opponent like a wheel, lift up and turn him. Then your foot will catch his ankle, he steps in deep with the toe turned in, grabs the ankle and throws. There we are. Step in deep. You must turn your right foot in deep. The turning of the foot helps you pivot 180 degrees when you throw. In, you notice he turns all the way around. Now let's watch this in slow motion. He's going to step in deep with his toe turned in. Lifts, pulls, catches the ankle, and throws. Lift, pull, throw. That's a mouthful. What you're essentially going to do is pull the opponent around on one leg, 
and trip him. Put your foot on his ankle, press, turn with your hands. There you're pushing his foot and then turning up around, like turning a wheel. Step around, catch the ankle, and throw. This is doing it by yourself. Here he is stepping backwards and doing it. Steps around, catches, and this is like a sacrifice throw. He'll just catch it and then fall and throw the opponent as he comes forward. One, now he's sort of fooling him, goes one side, the other jumps around and catches him. That's where an opponent is in a defensive position. Step one way, step the other way, jump quick, pull, twist with your hands, and if necessary, fall down yourself. One, two, three. Stepping back one way, the other way, catching. Here the opponent tries a throw, comes in again for Hanegoshi, sweeps him up and catches him with Sasai. Let's watch this slowly. The opponent is attacking with Hanegoshi. He lifts him up, counter throws with Sasai Tsurikomiyashi. Grips near the shoulders, and as the opponent starts to move his left foot forward, he catches it. Let's do it in slow motion. Gripping high on the shoulders, he steps around with his left foot with his toe pointing in. Pulls on the opponent. Watch his left foot is in a straight line with the other two feet. Blocks his knee. Has a circular action with his hands. Keeps that action going as he sweeps up. This is sort of an Uchikomi drill. Notice he catches high, so he has no slack in the gi. Steps around with his toe pointing in. Catches the knee. Again. Except we'll use the knee. He steps around deep. Turns his right toe in. Puts his left foot on the opponent's right leg. The foot on the leg. Pulls around with his hands like a big circle and throws full speed and now the student tries it Kudo changes his right arm behind Kobayashi's shoulder steps around quickly and catches him with Izaguruma let's watch this slowly takes his arm from the top brings it around almost to the back of Kobayashi's shoulder then quickly Steps around with his left foot, pulls Kobayashi's shoulder in real hard, breaking him forward. As Kobayashi leans forward, he blocks the knee and throws. Kobayashi tried to throw, fails. Kudo tried as he's a Garuma, reaches around the back, spins again. Let's watch this slowly. Then moving around, reaches behind Kobayashi's shoulder. Then quickly, he steps around, twists Kobayashi, catches his knee, and throws. The opponent comes in. Jumps in for a high grip, steps forward, the attacker steps back, pulls on the sleeve, blocks the ankle, twists, rotates, throws him on his back. 
They're squaring off with each other. Now the opponent's going to jump in, get a high grip, and as he steps forward, the attacker does a shuffle backwards, pulls in on the sleeve real hard, keeps pulling, blocks the ankle, lifts with the other arm, twisting the opponent, he's pushing with the ankle, keeps twisting, pushing with his leg, twists and throws him on his back. Attacker steps back, leading the opponent, and fakes a little bit to his right, and switches to his left, blocks the ankle, twists, pulling it on the shoulder, pushing in at the armpit, and following through. The attacker is stepping back, leading the opponent forward, makes a quick feint to the right, then switches to the left, pulls in on the shoulder, blocks the ankle, pushes up from under the armpit, twists his own body as he twists, pulling in at the shoulder, pushing in at the armpit, following the opponent right into the mat. attacks with the Nuchimata, fails, releases his arm, reaches around for a high grip. The attacker will take advantage of it, pulling it off his shoulder, steps around, blocks the ankle, twists and throws. And the opponent attempts the Nuchimata, fails, recovers, pulls his right hand free, then reaches over for a high grip. The attacker will take advantage of it, pulling it off his chest, stepping around, blocking the ankle, pulling on the elbow, lifting with the other arm, twisting, twisting, pulling in on the elbow, driving with the other arm, falling down to complete the throw. Taps a Kochigari. Attacker moves around, gripping the belt. Now he moves around to his left, pulling the opponent to his right, keeping tight control of the sleeve, lifts up on the belt, blocks the ankle, twists and falls on him for a throw. Here they are in low Jigotai. The opponent attempts a Kochigari. The attacker moves around to his right to block it, keeping a tight grip on the belt. Now swings around to his left pulling the opponent around his right, keeping a very tight grip on the sleeve, keeps stepping back, pulls in on the belt, pulls in tight on the sleeve, blocks the ankle, lifting hard with the belt, pulling in on the sleeve, keeps the ankle blocked, twists his body, and drops on the opponent for a good throw. Attacker is pulling down and lifting up in sort of a bouncing cork routine. As the opponent straightens up, reaches for the attacker's leg, the attacker steps around, blocks his knee, twists hard, and drives in for a throw. Here's that bouncing cork routine. Pulling down and lifting up, pulling down, and when the opponent starts to rise, he goes for the attacker's leg. The attacker steps around quickly, twisting hard on the opponent, blocking his knee, keeps the twist going, twisting hard, falls back, keeps the twist, keeps dropping, and lands on the opponent to complete the throw.
sweeping lift pull leg throw. As the opponent steps back, he jumps in and sweeps the back leg. Pulls the opponent to him. As the opponent steps back with his right foot, Tori jumps in with his right, then sweeps the opponent's right. This is like the ankle block that you saw before, except you sweep in deep. So he steps in deep between the leg, lifts the opponent up, and then catches the ankle. Let's see this in slower motion. Jumps in between the legs, lifts the opponent up, sweeps the supporting foot. Harai Tsurikomiyashi. except we'll use the knee. He steps around deep, turns his right toe in, puts his left foot on the opponent's right leg, the foot on the leg, pulls around with his hands like a big circle, and throws. Full speed. And now the student tries it. Okuri Harai Tsurikamiyashi Follow, sweeping, lift, pull, foot sweep is a mouthful. This technique is a unique specialty of Takagaki Sensei. In this throw, you chase the opponent's foot back and sweep it across the back of him. Step in quick and sweep. That's how you want the leg to go. Therefore, he'll fall like this. There you go. Now in slow motion. He chases the foot back quickly stepping in with the opposite leg, lifts up high, and sweeps the leg back and across, using his hands to throw the opponent once he's airborne. Ich möchte vielmehr mit euch was um diese Technikgruppe herum was Grundsätzliches machen. Und zwar kann man Sasai, Hisa, prinzipiell auf drei unterschiedliche Arten und Weisen werden. Eine Möglichkeit ist, dass ich den Partner reinstarte und die mehr oder weniger aushebe und rumwerfe. Eine andere Möglichkeit, prinzipiell unterschiedlich, dass ich ihn durch eine sehr starke Rotation, durch eine sehr starke Bewegung werfen kann. Und die dritte Form ist, dass ich einen Moment erwische, wo sein Bein gerade vorne aufsetzt, ich genau diesen Zug verstärke und ihn über diesen Punkt drüber wegziehe. Und diese drei prinzipiell unterschiedlichen Formen, da will ich mit euch dran arbeiten, und dazu jeweils ein paar Spielformen und ein paar Übungsformen, Kombinationen, Kontertechniken machen. Also nicht die Unterscheidung zwischen Sasa Tsurikome Ashi oder Hisa Goguma, das ist für mich ein Streifen des Kaisers Bad, sondern prinzipiell unterschiedliche Dinge. Erste Form, die erste Übung, das ist ein Doppelrevergriff. Ich fasse drunter und bringe meine Ellbogen hoch. Ich starte zwischen die Beine des Partners, das kann rechts sein, kann auch links sein und drehe den Fuß schon. Stelle Kontakt her und ziehe ihn so, dass er Bauchbauch ist. Lass ihn einfach so wälzen. Also in den Partner rein, starten Bauchkontakt und den Partner rumschleudern. Das gleiche kann ich auch zur anderen Seite machen. In den Partner rein, starten. Ellbogen hoch, das ist wie so eine Schraube, die ich jetzt hier habe, und den Partner verschrauben. Kleiner Trick, der Ellbogen, der hier ist, geht dann mit der Drehung noch weiter nach oben. Das ist dann letztendlich so eine Steuerarbeitsbewegung. Jeder Partner fünf, sechs Mal rechts und links rein starten und umschütteln. Und in den Partner rein starten, 
und die Hüfte ein bisschen vordrehen und den anderen dann über die Hüfte. Ich hatte gesagt, in den Partner rein starten und ihn auf meinen Bauch ziehen. Meint ihr, warum ich den Bauch habe? Also nicht vor dem Partner eindrehen. Mit dem Partner Bauch an Bauch drehen. Okay. Er war letztes Jahr hier im Sommercamp. Ihr erinnert euch an die, diejenigen, die da waren, und die Unterrichtseinheit vom Leo, werfen ohne einzudrehen. Hat er gemacht, Situation rechts gegen rechts, da steht rechts etwas vor. Genau diese Ausgangssituation nehmen wir jetzt, machen genau die gleiche Übung, die der Leo letzte Mal gemacht hat. Ich starte mit links in den Partner rein, und mit der rechten Hand, jetzt geht gerade weit rüber, den Hut zur Brust nehmen und rumschleuft. Also Situation rechts gegen rechts, ich starte links rein, ziehe ihn vor meinem Bauch. Mit der anderen Hand nutze ich die Situation aus, weil er den Arm oben hat, wie so ein Oberkellner. Serviertochter sagt ihr, ne? Den Arm so hoch. Mit dem Zug der rechten Hand und dem Schub der linken Hand, könnt ihr auf den Winkel sehen, kann ich ihn sehr gut verschrauben. Schritt rein, verschrauben und damit ich jetzt ihn noch ein bisschen blockiere, schiebe ich einfach meinen rechten Oberschenkel vor seinen Oberschenkel, vor seinen Bauch und drehe ihn da hin. Schritt rein starten, rumziehen, anheben, rumschleudern und des Beines hinhalten. Partner wechseln, neuen Partner nehmen, mit neuen Partner nehmen. Wenn wir jetzt alle ein paar Mal gehört haben, erkläre ich das gleiche nochmal. Ich könnte vielleicht ein Bild was genaues auf einzelne Punkte schauen nochmal. Ich weiß, viele kennen Sasa aus der Situation da unten mit der Fußsohle ganz unten stoppen. Sollte er jetzt bitte schön nicht machen. Wenn der Partner rein starten, der Partner stark auf mich zuzieht, geht auch zum Griff, dass er um den Oberarm kommt. Mein Oberkellnergriff, Ellbogen hochdrücken, geht natürlich auch mit diesem Griff, den wir vorhin eigentlich hatten, weil die so bei unserer Folie waren. Alles egal. Nur, wie geschieht wenn er in den Partner rein startet, Macht jetzt zwar mit dem Bein so eine etwas gegenläufige Bewegung, aber das hilft und unterstützt die Bewegung, ihn, er wird dabei nämlich ausgehoben, ihn auszuheben. Aber damit darf nicht Schluss sein. Ich muss anschließend noch ganz bewusst weiter drehen. Und das geht nur dann, wenn ich meinen Kopf in die neue Richtung drehe. In den Partner rein starten. Blockieren, ich achte auf meinen Kopf. Ich schaue dabei über meine rechte Schulter. Ganz extrem würde ich mich noch mitdrehen und sogar auf ihn drauf machen. Aber das erspare ich. Ich hatte vorhin bei meinen Vorbemerkungen gesagt, diese erste Form von Sasa Hisa hat was zu tun mit Ausheben. Und diese Aushebung, und ich hoffe, das wird deutlich bei meiner Demonstration, geschieht vor allen Dingen auch dadurch, dass ich das rechte Bein zum Schwung mit hochnehme. Es ist nicht Kamera raus. Es ist nicht in der Gegentretung, sondern ich ihn von unten nach oben mit aussehen und dann, wenn er hoch ist, ihn weiter drehen. Also jetzt achten bitte alle auf nichts anderes außer aussehen. Aussehen. Und das mit dem neuen Partner. Jeder noch fünfmal und dann machen wir die nächste. Bitte.
Menschen und Tango Griff unter der Achselhöhle durchgefasst. Aber so kann ich natürlich den Weg nach Europa überziehen. Super. Die meisten haben es super gemacht. Ich habe keine jetzt nicht alle vorbereitet. Michael, nächste Steigerung machen wir gleich bitte mit dem neuen Partner. Diese Vorwärtsbewegung ist nicht mehr gekünstelt, er geht spaziert freiwillig mit, sondern ich treibe ihn in eine Vorwärtsbewegung rein, indem ich ihn in Form von Ochigari angreife. Bitte nicht so angreifen, dass das Bein in der Luft ist, dann brauche ich zu viel Zeit, sondern ich setze mein Bein dahin, schiebe ihn und zwinge ihn jetzt zu dieser Rückwärtsbewegung. Ich gehe weiter und dann schaffen wir das. Drei, vier Schritte nach vorne gehen. Den Partner mit Ochi angreifen. Überholen und sehen. Bitte mit dem neuen Partner, probieren. Letzte Übung zu diesem Sasai-Stil, wo ich den Partner mit aushebe. Als Kontertechnik. Er will mich mit Harayoshi angreifen. Er will mich mit Harayoshi angreifen. Er will mich mit Harayoshi angreifen. Und ich starte ihm entgegen. Er will mich angreifen und ich starte ihm entgegen. Manchmal ist mein Bein gar nicht draußen. Da kommt er mir genau vorne vor das Bein vor. Also, nicht zurückgehen mit der Hüfte, sondern entgegen starten und ihn hier oben rüberziehen. Anderer Blickwinkel einmal. Hayoshi, ja mal. Hayoshi. Hayoshi. Den neuen Partner mit dem ich sag's. Etwas umdenken. Wir haben bis jetzt gemacht, Sasai, wo den Partner immer etwas mit ausgehoben haben, wo wir ganz engen bauch bauch kontakt haben. Aber alle Übungen das Gleiche. Jetzt brauchen wir mehr Distanz, denn je weiter ich von meinem Partner weg bin, Je weiter ich rumlaufe, desto mehr Rotationsenergie dreht mit dir. Der Energie und Geschwindigkeit kann ich natürlich. Wir machen dazu eine Vorübung mit normalen Griff oder Doppelhelden, der Griff ist mir egal. Ich starte und laufe so diagonal von ihm weg, drehe mich zu ihm und versuche ihn jetzt hier irgendwo zu blockieren. Das wäre in der Tat mehr so dieser Rumerform. Und versuche ihn dadurch jetzt nicht zu werfen, sondern einfach. Abwechseln rechts und links so als Vorform, um dieses Drehen zu üben. Versuche ich ein bisschen ins Wackeln zu bringen. Jeder bitte mit neuen Partner. Das war gerade aus der Rubrik, klappt nicht. Kann nicht klappen. Ich habe zwar sehr starke Rotationsenergie, aber ich bin viel zu weit von ihm weg. Deshalb kann ich ihn zwar so ein bisschen erschüttern, aber ich komme da einfach nicht an. Im Gegensatz zu der Technik, die ich vorhin gemacht habe, wo ich ganz eng am Partner dran war. Ich bin jetzt schlauer als er. Er macht seinen Angriff ja, und versucht mich sehr stark zu drehen. Diese Drehung nutze ich auch, indem ich mit dem Angriff den Ball übersteige, mich sofort wieder Bauch, Bauch zu ihm drehe und mich auf dieser Seite blockiere und werfe. Ich nutze jetzt seine Energie. Das geht nicht langsam. Das kann ich auch leider nicht langsam vormachen. Nichts Zeit noch. Zu ihm drehen. Nicht weiter guck mal, wie nicht dran steht. Ich darf nicht weglaufen. Als wenn ich mich hinter ihm kuschen wollte. Probiert.
dieser Bewegung ziehe ich ihn schräg nach vorne, starte ihn ein und werfe ihn. Die Folge macht ihr gleich dreimal und dann direkt die Zielübung, die ich euch jetzt gleich aufzeige. Also, ein bisschen runterdrücken, wenn es etwas hochkommt. dann unsere Zielübung zu machen. Er macht Epponzionale, ich kann die Epponzionale ausweichen, sodass er auf die Knie, auf die Knie runtergeht. Ne? Er will hochkommen und werfe ihn aus dieser Position. Epponzionale, ausweichen, oh. Schwarzbrote haben sowas schon mal gesehen, ne? Ja, ne? Zwar nicht so gut, war ja VDR, aber... <lacht> ja? Also das, was so der klassische Sasser zu Komarashi in der Nagel und Hatta dargestellt ist, kann man schon aufwerfen. Das muss man, glaube ich, schon ein kleines bisschen anders machen. Also das ist für mich jetzt von der Koordination her das Schwierigste, weil es nur einen ganz kurzen Moment gibt, wo ich ihn auf das Bein, das nach vorne kommt, draufziehe und ihn dann auch rüberziehen kann. Ziehe ich zu früh, stemmt er sich dagegen, sperrt er sich dagegen. Geht's nicht mehr. Ich muss genau den Moment, wo der Fuß, mach mal langsam, aufsetzen und dann... Und dann setze ich einfach noch einen Fuß daneben. Habt ihr gesehen, was ich jetzt gemacht habe? Ich bin jetzt nicht mehr nur normal gegangen, sondern ich bin mit dem rechten Bein etwas weggegangen, zum Hühnig. Den Arm ziehe ich weiter, diesmal nach vorne unten. Vorher habe ich immer nach oben gezogen. Mit dem anderen Arm drehe ich ihn weiter. 